I find a combination of attractive but not dominating sort of rose petal uh, aroma and, and a little bit of tar, but, but in a pleasant way, and uh, a little bit of licorice, which I really like. You know, it yeah. brings back memories from my childhood. This is, these are the three, the three components that must be always in the glass of Barolo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tremendous concentration there. How would you describe the, the structure of the wine? For that? It's uh, it's uh, quite tannic, obviously, because it's still very, very, very young. This will age over quite a long period of time. Okay. Um, but I don't find the tannins too gripping. Okay. Um, as I said, it's still young, so the fruit is still to come through, but it, it's there. Um, it's uh, quite complex, and, and with Barolo in this vintage, as John Luke was saying, you need to be patient. Uh, it will take quite a few years to really appreciate this, but um, as you can sense, it's, uh, the, it's persistent, it's rather nice and long on the palate, and um, it, uh, it, it, will, it will develop into a lovely, lovely wine, an elegant wine. For us, the Biolo is, is, is planted only here, so uh, we are not at the moment a competition of uh, uh, new coming producers that, that try to plant uh, Nebbiolo in other countries. It, 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 it will arrive, uh, it will come of course, but at the moment it's not so. So for us, for us it was uh, quite important to uh, uh, be able uh, to, uh, to do some step in terms to enhance more the character and to protect more the character of Nebbiolo. I believe that what is important for uh, uh, producers Users that uh, like to produce uh, native, local grape varieties to help even consumers to understand and to understand the differences. This is a beautiful food wine. Uh, when you taste with beside the food, uh, when you taste without the food, you feel a little bit at the level of tannin and acidity that is uh, relatively important. Yeah. But when and uh, they can, can sometimes it can be uh, even uh, to disturb a little bit. But when you taste it with food, is music, fantastic, because the tannins and the acidity are clean in the palate, and they give you the the, the chance to retaste the food and to retaste the full uh, taste of food with a fresh palate. Yes, more is very important. These are elegant wines, not opulent. I believe that opulence, opulence is a very important even ca character and uh, uh, co there are consumers, they, they look specifically for opulent wines. But uh, elegant wines that uh, have uh, 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 this uh, acidity and tannins uh, playing uh, and they making the wine slim, elegant, uh, are fantastic for food wines. Italy is a country that uh, more than uh, other countries uh, has a large volume, large production of elegant wines. Different, made everywhere in, in Italy, in each region, different wines, Taurasi, uh, so many, many different wines. And the, the large majority of these different wines, of these wines, are less opulent than other wines, but more elegant. And because of, of, of this, they became fantastic food wines. Okay, uh, Giuseppe, we're about to taste your uh, your flagship Nebbiolo, yeah, your best yes. wine. This is our top wine, I think. Uh, what are we drinking, in fact? The Sodisfar Royal Vietigi. This is a reserva. Reserva okay. means that it is aged one year more than the normal Royal. For me, it's almost like going back to my childhood, where yeah. you, know, you, would, you would get licorice from your mum, <laughs> and this was really intense uh, licorice. And, uh, and I spice. think uh, one best uh, thing with uh, this wine is uh, the acidity. This is important for the life of the wine because it's not only the tannin uh, take a long life in the wine, it's also this good acidity we have uh, in the Nebbiolo. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting some very nice tannins. They, they are a little bit, um, we would say, grippy. Yeah? You know how you shake someone's hand? 
and we would say that someone has a strong grip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So grippy tenants, but pleasant. Yeah, they're they're not aggressive at all. Yeah. But you you notice them, and and you know that when you when you see them, in balance, of course, that that this wine can age for a very long time. I think. Yeah, and uh, this is the thing uh, with Giovanni Negro when he makes the Swiss wine because uh, you see, okay, I have a little, uh, a small part of vineyard in this type of soil with this clay, I can have uh, this type of tannin with more complexity, I can have more aging. Okay, fair enough. I can uh, use this for make a really bigger wine.